Well, let me mention this and let the tension lift with no censorship. That's how I tend to spit. Clear truth in my message, now I'm sending it. Twixed up, there's a name, you remember this. So as my pen will flick, I'll make night in the page. See my temper twist, holding tight all the rage for this penmanship. It's bringing light to the days in a haze of darkness where we fight for our pain. Uh, and I consider this a meal time I'm one of the dopest motherfuckers that you will find Shit you could turn the lights off and I still shine Skill blind marksman shooting clocks to kill time I catch a train of thought, derail it and crash in flames The king is back to claim his crown and start his ass of brain I'm at Van Gogh, taxes fate and tag my name Thick skin, I snapped the blade last time I slashed my veins If you are ferocious in battle, remember to be magnanimous in victory but remember, the, en the enemy should be in no doubt that we are his nemesis and we are bringing about his rightful destruction. <laughs> in their venue, shout out to them. Next battle, international matchup on the right hand side all the way from Canada, makes a noise for David Kish. <laughs> on the left hand side all the way from the ADL where you try not to get stabbed by blackies every day, makes some noise for Cody. <laughs> we already had the coin toss. Uh, Dottie won it and chose to go first like a G. Dottie, 60 seconds on you. First things first, don't think for me this battle's any different. I don't give a fuck where you live at, it's no privilege. I wasn't even surprised at this matchup because Brisbane's got a whole coast known to host a load of international bitches. You fucking punts. You were flying out to be out float and beat. I don't want to hear you're a part of one of the dopest scenes known to be. We ain't suckers, motherfucker, and you had to travel overseas to battle because at home it seems you're a joke to people locally. Ooh. You're a shit cunt. Yeah. You wanted high stakes? Should have tried a T-bone on top of the Empire State. Or feeding a cow an entire cake full of the finest jade because I create a flow like a tidal wave by yours in comparison is like a piss that I would take. Ooh. I'm all about the cash and the smoke. That's why Australia's known for its gold and its green, bro. It wouldn't matter if there was weed grown in each home. They'd have to replace the DA in your nation's name with a BIS for your country to ever be deemed dope. Ooh. Ooh. I think I forgot a line of time. Wrap it up, yeah, right? Um. <laughs> Alright, faggot. If rap was propane, I'm scorching it. If it's cocaine, you're snorting it. I'll put it in the old bags, export the shit, so I can buy a time machine, go back to the 80s, find your mom, become a coat hanger abortionist. That old lady's a horrid bitch. When I fucked her, I pulled up the videotape and recorded it. So if anyone wants to watch a homemade little porno flick, it's okay, you can torrent it. <laughs> Bitch is so great as an oralist. She sucked my cock in a position that would give a broke leg to a normal chick, but it's okay. Your kneecaps and sexuality go both ways when I pork the bitch. Oh. Oh. Hokage my organ stick like a throat strangled contortionist. I mean, oh. I mean, fuck. If you look in that vagina, I mean, that hole's gaping. It's horrid. It's a deep old cave. It's a storage bin. If you go straight to the core of it, you find volcanoes and tornadoes and portals with whole nations of orcs and shit. <laughs> I'm talking Lord of the Rings pussy. <laughs> Fucking Mordor pussy. I stick my stretch limousine inside of that Ford or pussy. Man, two on Dottie, 
let's go. All right. From Canada, right? I hope Bishop Briganti takes a piss on your auntie. Kicks in your ma's teeth, takes his mirror down, breaks it in half and uses a large piece to shift your bar heaps till it stops his heartbeat. You want extreme shit? I got extremists on my team, bitch. I'll get an Israeli student to take a bazooka, aim it and shoot it, straight at a busload full of Canadian tourists. Or maybe send you to Guantanamo Bay with a bombing note saying he's not an Al Arabian but he's a Canadian and that's a reason enough for you motherfuckers to want to go detaining him. <laughs> Quick change up. The only way I'd stick you a slut is by making a jump broom first off a huge curb. I hate what you love, and if you ever go to get married, I hope a week prior to ring buying, she dies in a heaps violent drink driving street parlor. Oh, oh fuck. Take a hint, you ain't a major pimp if you ain't ever laid a chick without the aid of messing with the ladies' drink. You're frail and shit, pale and sick, could probably break her rib just from inhaling wind. <laughs> I ain't talking blazing piff when I say that this has been a wasted trip for David Kinch. I'll bring the terror like David Hicks, make you disappear like David Blaine, and no one's seen David since. Oh! 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 Shit, real talk, round two. Let's go. You guys like slick red, right? Yeah. Lottie, yeah. <laughs> Dotty, titties on your body. I bet you dance like this when you go out to fucking party. <laughs> Just a fat boy on the mic, but when he bites a meat pie, he bites the pie right. <laughs> Bitch, you deep fry. You don't grill steak. Twelve meat pies on your meal break. You finish eight plates and he still ate. He puts mayonnaise in his milkshake. <laughs> you are so fat, chunky and fat. I can't believe how fucking chunky you is. If them titties was on a chick, they'd milk up hundreds of kids. You know how disgusting it is? When you wake up like a bitch, jump out the shower, look down like, oh my god, what the fuck's my dick? <laughs> Yo, God, he covers that shit. You were slithery, blubbery mess. All you can eat buffet is best. He'll eat till none of it's left. Mouth said no, but his gut said yes. <laughs> Quick one, yeah. I heard you got shoplifting meat pies and you're fat in your rolls. Now they won't let you back into Kohl's. <laughs> You ain't a thug and know the type. You'd fall off trying to ride like frozen tires on a motorbike. As a kid, the doctor said you were prone to an overbite, so we know your lines are clones or rhymes of some dope guys have actually flow at times. So you kind of sound like salt palm, but a lesser better version. I never met a person I could ever reckon's worse than the pathetic levels of energy you're exerting. I'm surgically precise, certain that I could remove your appendix with a spoon I just bent with my huge and intense whip. You oh my fuck everything. I got such telepathy that'll stun mentally. I hope your mum's fundamentally crushed by destiny. And I'll give a fuck like right the track that runs a train on that slut's memory. Do you know what your dad said? What? Your mum's got a flat chest, but your sister has breasts that jiggle like a fat man's neck. But listen, Dottie, it's a bad match set like anecdotes, mini body, and his trans am head. I've been living with insane debts, dealing with a mate's death, slinging just to pay rent. So for me, Brizzy nearly took a rain check. But I'm a dope rhymer and I flow tighter. Of course, I'm gonna walk away with this win tonight, motherfucker. I got Manda was my ghost rider. Last round on DK. Alright. I researched this faggot and I watched all of his battles. And I noticed the theme. You talk about dicks. And assholes. <laughs> Yo, what do you do when you get ready for these things? You watch me on YouTube busting like, shit, David King just dope as fuck. I gotta pull through, do something. I'm trying to write distance, but I can't do nothing. I mean, all I can think about is two dudes fucking. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, is gay sex all that takes place in your brain? You're predictable as fuck. I can predict everything that you say. I mean, da battling Dottie's like Tetris. I feel like I'm playing the game. I take every piece is delivered awkwardly and all the shapes are the same. <laughs> so go ahead, huge fag. Call me a, no, go ahead, douchebag. Call me a huge fag. Cause I got two dads. Cause I've been in Australia for a month and a half and I'm pretty sure I've fucked more girls here than you have. <laughs> a fist, man, you wouldn't have to work too hard or even break a nail. Because if I swing a fist on Dottie, Greenpeace would roll in screaming, save the whales. <laughs> Bitch, you are the shape of a whale. What the fuck did God do to you? If you went up north, I bet Japanese people would try harpooning you. <laughs> I got some time left, but I forgot the rest of my writtens. You have big old titties. Some that rhymes with writtens. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Lions first, Dottie. That was very close in my opinion. Um, I like both of their shit. I think I'm going to have to give it to Dottie because he came with those fucking evil bars and I like that shit. So, good work on both MCs. Peace. Um, shit, that was a tough one to call. They both came dope. Uh, Dottie had some killer multis. They both had killer bars, punches. Um, Kinch probably got the delivery if I had to go down to rounds. Two to one. Kinch got the first two. Choked in the end, but I'd still give him the first two, so Kinch. I'm going to have to give it to Kinch. Dottie's cannabis on the first, I don't know, but overall Kinch was a bit consistent. Because even one of them could have taken it on the way. The judges gave it two to one. David Kinch got double.